I just uh, wanted to uh, have a conversation to kind of let everyone know uh, kind of what we are uh, with our garbage truck, uh, with our garbage collection. I've invited uh, our sanitation supervisor here, Mr. Wayne Pete, along with Mr. Dishman that drives uh, our truck uh, from time to time. And um, if, if, if you are familiar, we budgeted in the 2021 budget year $245,000 to uh, uh, purchase a, a, a new garbage truck what we call a backloader. What the backloader is, is with two folks on the back, obviously uh, putting garbage in the back of the truck. Well, in a year and eight months, uh, we still haven't got a truck. Uh, and uh, due to things being backordered, uh, and maybe could get it in the spring, uh, but not sure. Why is that? Uh, COVID. I mean, everything's kind of backed up still with, with COVID. Uh, and uh, now we do have some good news. We did check with a uh, company that could, um, could, could possibly have us a truck here in uh, February or March. Uh, that would be uh, the, the number that we budgeted, okay? Uh, now that's, that's, that's what they say. But what I wanted to do since we've waited so long, is just possibly explore some options uh, that uh, that we have. So, <clears throat> so not only have we had uh, a tough time trying to get a truck, uh, we have went through several employees uh, on the back of the garbage truck. I mean, obviously, it's not the limelight of the best city job in the world. So uh, I think- Is it because of the truck or is it no, because of the Well, it's hard work. I uh, know it's hard yeah, work. No, it's, no, it's not because of the it's truck. It's not directly it's, related to the truck. Right. <clears throat> That's right. So, uh, and I mean, you know, I, I think anybody uh, out in the uh, field of hiring and uh, HR uh, knows that it's, it's, uh, it's a tough task right now trying to find qualified employees uh, that will do you a super job. And we ran into that too. We still have some openings on the, on the street front. So with that in mind, uh, I thought it might be good just to explore uh, some options uh, and um, just a good opportunity for us to take a look at some options. So um, I, I, option number one, obviously would be to purchase a, a garbage truck at a budget number of $245,000, okay? Uh, if we chose that option, obviously we'd still have to have two folks on, on, the, on the garbage truck. Three, one to drive, two on the back. Uh, and uh, that could be here a week or could be here six months or could be here a year. Uh, that's, uh, it, it seems like the uh, um, being loyal to the job is, is not uh, what we are seeing that it still exists, okay? Uh, with, with new employees sometimes. Option two is something that we have, have never done and that uh, would be to contract out all of our garbage service. Uh, <clears throat> the, we would send out requests for proposals uh, to companies. Uh, we would advertise in uh, Signal, the Tennessee and Herald Citizen, any company that might want to come in uh, and take care of the garbage routes as we would do. I reached out to a company just to get an idea on about what it would cost uh, to to do that. So, and it came back forty thousand dollars a year. They would run the same routes uh, that we run. Uh, they would give everyone at no additional cost a garbage can uh, that would have the handle on it and what they call a sidewinder. So you would have trucks that would come in 
Uh, every resident would get one can uh, and they would pick the truck up mechanically and throw it in the back of the truck, lay the can down, the resident would take the garbage truck, or excuse me, the can back up to the home uh, and like most municipalities are doing. That's an option. That would be at a price tag of $40,000 a year for the city. The residents would pay no more money. There would be, we will have a little bit more discussion if that is the route that the board would like to take a look at on commercial garbage. Uh, now, the company that I, I spoke with. So, <coughs> that, so that price is residential? Yes. Yeah. So that price is a residential only price at it, this it, point? It, it's being re res it, but it's not really a price. Well, so, so what we said was uh, residential and duplexes, but big housing complexes uh, and things like that uh, would be out. Sure. That, okay, so you're from, uh, yeah, can you push the button, please? You're commercial. What would they do? So they would hire an independent, they would hire an independent contractor, uh, is what they would do. And if they wanted to stay on the same route that we are doing, uh, then they would hire the same company that the city is using. Couldn't they also provide their own service? Oh, they, they, could, their own. They, they could also always haul their own garbage to the recycling center, sure. So, oh, again, the recycling center. Was that total cost 40000 a year? Yes. That sounds good. That, um, so, what about residential? I mean, okay. So, residential and commercial. Uh, I mean, this is just commercial. So, what so I am talking about right now is every resident in the city limits of Livingston, there would be no additional cost for garbage. And I wanna make sure that I, I, I say this too. The employees that we currently have would still have a job. This would not be laying anybody off. Uh, they would simply go on to the street department, the department that they're in right now. Uh, and I spoke to all of them about it because I didn't want them to see it front page of the paper and, and be upset and uh, discouraged and things like that. And that's why I, I have asked them to be here tonight. Two of them didn't come. I guess they had something else to do. But I think Mr. Dishman, you agree that I met with you all and, yes. and, uh, and explained all of this out. So, so, uh, but Alderman Elder, to answer your question, this would be for residentials and duplexes. The large apartment complexes would have to have hire them an independent contractor if the board chose to go this route, if. So the small businesses that we have, that we are currently doing, uh, that uh, they, would, they would simply, according to a company that I spoke with, uh, they would simply hire this independent contractor as well or any other contractor that they wanted and they would pay them individually. This would put us out of the garbage business. So what does it do to our budget? <clears throat> well, uh, we have a budget right now of, of $245,000 budgeted for a new truck right now. Our maintenance, and I, I was just talking to our chief mechanic, Patrick Mountain, and uh, with our sanitation supervisor, Wayne Peak. Uh, it's a, it, it, we could spend on a truck after, let's say, the warranty is out anywhere from $5,000 to $40,000 a year maintenance cost on a garbage truck, period. It costs us about $102,000 a year in salaries to run the garbage truck. What about fuel? I did not add up the fuel, but I mean, Wayne Hofton, you can. I fill up that truck at least once to twice a day, depending on the route. And we're talking about a tank, tank and a half diesel. So you're talking three or $400 every time. I, I didn't add that up, it's a good question, but I, that, that's well, why I wanted them to come. So $40,000 a year, is what the city would pay 
this garbage service to do the residential and duplexes. Correct. That, that just sounds no brand. really cheap. <laughs> yes, that, me too. that just sounds really cheap. I mean, we'd save a ton of money by going that route. Just exactly. in fuel and uh, maintenance costs. Say nothing about having to buy a garbage truck. Well, the, the, the numbers were very interesting to me. And when I met with this company, and again, we would have to send out requests for proposals. We couldn't just hire anyone. Uh, so, but other companies alike would come in and then the board would make the final decision on <clears throat> which would be the best option. And, and, with, and with the option to um, uh, decline. If that's what they, if that's what they so wanted to do, so I'm sorry. Go ahead, Vice Mayor Bryson. Just a question on that estimate: Is that just a one-year teaser type estimate, or is that multi-year locked in, or did you did you get that far? So the company explained to me. I did ask that question. That's a great question, Vice Mayor Dodson. It uh, they the, the particular company that I spoke with uh, would want a five-year contract, wow. and we would lock in it. That's insane. Mm -hmm. that's Wayne, insane. what do you think about it? It's awful cheap, but I. That's really insane. That's I, mean, I, don't I, don't I don't see how they can do it, but they said they can do it. I don't know. That's not a month. That's not a month. It's no. a year. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I mean. Uh, how many gallons did you truck up? It's a 20 yard compactor. No, uh, fuel. 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 fuel uh, that's like probably about 140 gallon tank. Oh, so you're talking 250 no. gallons of that truck? No, I don't think it's that big. Uh, I don't think it's. Uh, well, hold on, just out in case. I can tell you what we I can tell you that it is a. So, so we, so uh, another option. I, I don't want to just get you hung up on that. I, I, I'm, I'm just like you all. When these numbers came in, I thought, wow. And the reason that I had a work session tonight is because I've got a truck on hold, uh, and I, I, I asked him if he would hold this for us until I got through with the meeting. He said yes. And when I say truck, it's a backhaul, and it, it's the truck is uh, 200 and, uh, truck's 230,000, something like that. Have you talked to other cities about it? I, I, I have, so the company that, uh, the truck that is on hold is about 215,000 dollars. Is that a new, a new no, truck? That's brand new. That's brand new. That's brand new. And, uh, but I, I'm, I mean, it may use just a little less fuel, but not much. It still takes two uh, folks, uh, three, to operate the truck. So, not to get hung up on this rental thing, but was that just one company that you talked to? Yes, sir. I just talked to one company. Yes, sir. Okay. And, and, and what? Are they known or, I mean? They're very known. Okay. And they do, they do several cities, and several cities that you know. Option three, uh, and I'll, I can go back to that, but we can have more discussion. Uh, option three is, uh, and, and I know a lot of folks that says, well, why don't we have our own truck uh, that has the automatic handles that throws in the back? And uh, let me explain this to you. 
So for $328,177, we can get a truck. Okay? How much? $328,177. Yeah. Uh, and, and then we would turn right around and purchase carts for every resident in Livingston for $192,500. For a grand total of $520,677. That's why we don't have those tr that truck and carts in Livingston. Now, going back to, um, to option one, is standard, is what we've always done. There is an opportunity uh, to uh, uh, keep control of our garbage. Uh, you know, we control it, we own the truck, we take care of the holidays, and, and which is something that the other company would do the same. Uh, option two is when you lease out, you lose some control unless there's not uh, things that is in writing in the contract. Uh, but speaking with this company, and we talked about holidays, they didn't have any problem with running on holidays. Uh, if, if a resident wants an additional can, it will cost them. So if you, if, if you have a lot of garbage at your resident and you need two cans, then you will deal directly with that company and not the city. The city would be completely out of the garbage business. They would take care of all city properties. Uh, we had a discussion about how many events we have in the square, how many festivals that we have. That'd be part of it. And that's included in that estimate as well? That's correct. <laughs> so what, uh, what would, the, uh, would the residents then be paying a fee to this company? No, sir. They, they continue to pay their, it's included in their. The, the resident, let me be clear now, the, the resident would not pay anything other than their property taxes as they're paying right now. The only time they would pay money to the company is if you wanted an additional can. Gotcha. I'd like to hear from cities that have this service. Okay. And recommendations from yeah. these cities to see whether we go forward, but this is a no-brainer. I, I agree. I don't know why we would want to get out of the garbage business. You mentioned there's trouble keeping people wanting to do that particular job. It's hard. It's uh, smelly. It's dangerous. Uh, it's yeah, dangerous. Very good. Thank you. We've got a couple and there's people. nothing wrong. I mean, you know, there's a lot of businesses that outsource things that we used to do. Yeah, that's correct. We do it all the time. And and with the and, and we are just not in a great uh, position financially in the general fund that we can go out and get our own truck at five hundred twenty thousand dollars. And even if we were, yeah, right. Right. Still right. So that that's where we are. Uh, that is a verbal uh, that they that they gave us uh, when we set out the. Uh, request for proposals. That's when I, we get a true number. And, and the company that I spoke with are having budgeting uh, meetings tonight, and that's why we're not here. And I, I don't want to mention the name. Would would there be any need to keep the existing truck that we have? I know it's probably on its last leg anyway. Or would well, we sell it and try to get money back out of it, or what would we so do? so right now we have three trucks. Okay. And, and they're eating us up in maintenance right now. They, if you remember, we ordered nearly two years ago <laughs> because we knew that the life has come and gone on, on the garbage truck. And how long have they been out of the lane? Well, they're, they're 07 miles. Okay, they're 07 miles. And uh, we've got, uh, we're about to, again, our, our maintenance bill folks can go on a, on, on a very, very good year, five to $10,000 on an average year, realistically 15 to 25 on a bad year, 40 plus. And we're looking at a couple of 40 pluses right now. Great. Yeah, I spent over $10,000 on last week. 
I think we should uh, proceed with all pace to get out the bids and find out uh, any unknown details or whatever. Yeah. But I agree with Bruce. This sounds like a very easy decision. If, if this is even close to I'll agree. actual. Yeah, I'll agree. And, and the actual numbers, I want to see them put it on paper. Whatever company that uh, comes in, oh, that uh, whatever company comes in uh, and see them uh, with the, the numbers. And like I said, we always have the right to decline the proposals. If the numbers come in and they're nowhere near like they told me, then we can simply decline under no obligation and we go back to the standardized way that we do. So how many small businesses the city currently serves would be affected by having to then buy their own service. We um, have roughly about a hundred. The, uh, the, the, the total, and this is something that if we stay the route that we're going, I'll be coming to you for an increase for businesses, any industrial, for, more, uh, for additional fees. Uh, the October uh, invoice that will be uh, given out to nearly 100 uh, Commercial type uh, deal is twenty five hundred and twenty dollars. Do what? We are only receiving twenty five hundred and twenty dollars. You need to go with all this tomorrow. <laughs> I wouldn't wait a month. <laughs> well, I wanted to see more work. Where we're at. It's almost two years. I mean, they don't, I've got to figure out. They don't even cover the fuel, the loan, the labor. Yeah. I'd send out a notice tomorrow saying I'm going up on you guys. <laughs> we just need to get this on the next day. David, I know, I know that uh, you just got here. I'll give you the quick note first if you want. Uh, so, what we are discussing is, here is garbage, uh, garbage <laughs> in general. Um, the uh, uh, we ordered a truck 2021-2020-2021 budget year, and we haven't got a truck yet. Uh, so a year, eight months uh, later, we're still here. Uh, we do, we have, uh, Wayne has found another company, and uh, if we wanted to, we could, we think we could get one February or March. Is that right? That's what he says. Yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> Uh, but uh, uh, at a budget number that we have got, two hundred forty-five thousand off. We budgeted two forty-five, I think, two fifteen or something like that. I think. Uh, but while we was waiting, I, I, I started looking at other options, and op one of the options was, uh, and I have talked to them about this, is contracting out the garbage. It would put the city of Livingston out of the garbage business altogether. No employee would lose their job. They'd simply be transferred over to the uh, street department. Unless you want to do it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> with the with on the, the back. <laughs> with the maintenance that we are doing on these garbage trucks, with the fuel that we're doing with these garbage trucks, you're on the road every day. You know what the fuel cost is. Uh, uh, I thought it might be time just to look at it. And a company that I verbally talked to that came to Livingston and seen me uh, quoted me verbally a price of $40,000 a year. And for 40000 To pick up the garbage city of Livingston, $40,000 a year? Yes, sir. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even pay the rail phone back. And I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. These good things sound good, but when this deal blows up, the first thing we'll do, we'll run our own trucks through the auction. So we'll have a fundraiser, not have a truck warm, this will blow up, and then we'll be hauling that pickups and everything else. 
don't care who they are, they can't pick it up four thousand dollars. So the 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 thing of it uh, is we would send out requests for proposals. They would actually put it in writing and they would be bound to a contract with the city of Livingston. And if not, uh, then I guess we'd turn it over to our attorney. But uh, again, I'm just telling you verbally what they have said. Now, verbally, what someone says and what they put in writing may be two totally separate numbers. But my question was to everyone here, is it worth looking into or do we just want to buy the traditional truck as we always have? Just some options that I wanted the board to know about. Well, we're not obligated if you do. Not, no, no obligation. We're not obligated right now to anybody. The truck that might be here in six months is canceled and gone. And we had to, we, I had to make a decision on that because if I didn't cancel it before the end of September or October, uh, there was a five, six thousand dollar charge on the plant. Is that what he? That's what they were saying. But I mean, it was their fault they didn't build the truck, so right. that's how they charged us. Yeah, that. but that's, that's what they said. So, uh, <clears throat> I can certainly well, get. What, what are we going to do with our own trucks? Well, um, we haven't got that far yet. So uh, I, I, would, I would think that uh, obviously not a thing until uh, we get proposals, we're gonna continue on to carry garbage the way that we have. If you all decide that to go with a private contractor, then we would uh, sell, uh, well, we got three, uh, we'd probably keep one. I don't even know why we would probably keep one. I talked to Wayne about that. Uh, but uh, uh, probably for junk or whatever, but uh, <clears throat> but uh, but we'd run it to uh, probably put it on done deals. And supposedly this company does this service for other other cities, city municipalities. That's right. What are you doing for me? That's what we were all saying, David. Yeah. 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 That's thirty five hundred dollars a month. She got yeah. There ain't no way. Well, well, we, we, we see it in writing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And also, I mean, obviously, we get references from their clients. Absolutely. That's just with, like with, the, with, the, with the customers that, that we've got, I, I would simply uh, call the cities that they're representing and, and get a letter from them and certainly supply you all that. And then when we got the request for proposals, Obviously, they'd be sitting there in front of you all, and then you can see the real numbers. Well, I would just say, even if that 40 a year is a pipe dream, and it's 50% more than that, <laughs> or 100% more than that, mm -hmm. it still makes sense to outsource that, because the, what you're talking about, the cost of fuel that we're paying, the maintenance after the trucks are out of warranty. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're probably spending more than a hundred thousand a year. No, 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 no question. That no. was a mountain comparison. Yeah, I mean, you, like, like I said, in salaries, we're at one hundred two thousand dollars. But that's not going to go away. Yeah, no, that go it's, away. It's only going to go up. Yeah, well, the salaries because we're not, we're right. not. I understand. Yeah, unless yeah. unless people move on and you choose that's, that's place. Right. And, and, and Wayne's got a couple of positions open right now. Now, once he got full, we just simply wouldn't. Our back, but you know, through attrition, we, we didn't lose something. Right. Uh, but but now, make no mistake, you would save money on the maintenance of the garbage truck. And, on the, the, on, and the cost of the truck. And the cost. Yeah. Absolutely. So, but again, do, do, is this something that we, and, and this is not a voting meeting, uh, this is just a work session to, to discuss. But I mean, uh, is this something we think that pursue the yeah. yeah? I agree. No further questions. Uh, and do you have any questions for me? Well, I think even that you said the guy uh, was holding the truck that was for two fifteen for a bit, but it's still four to six months away anyway. Obviously. Yeah. That's not the only fish in the sea. There's going to be more if this all blows up and 
it's like, okay, it's gonna be, you know, five times what we told you. There's trucks out there. Yeah. So in the meantime, city garbage is still running. We've got enough oh, yeah. employees to yeah. run what we've got. Yeah, yeah. The, the garbage. Really good there. Yeah, the garbage is Why running. Why don't you check in and see what it costs to refurbish one of our trucks? I can, I can. And, and go back to the manufacturer and have them to do it. Yeah. I don't know that I, I will check, David. I can't tell you they do that. Wayne, can you uh, answer that? I'm, 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 I'm sure they put a new bed on it, but I mean, you still well, got your old I, I'm, I'm sure somebody do it because when, when we trade these trucks in or she trades them in, I mean, they don't run them through the scrapper. They pass it on to the next man, so they found a good place that has them worked on. I can check that. Sure. Sure can. I talked to a adjuster today. Um, some different things, and he said, especially your larger stuff, he, he mentioned ambulances and fire trucks and that type of thing. He said that they couldn't get them up, you know, couldn't get them in this and that, and said that they was refurbishing 20 year old trucks. Wow. That's something to look into. I'm, I'm not, I'm not yeah. looking into it. I'm worried back to them. Uh, we'll call the company. Oh, that it, it might be too much or whatever. But well, but it's, I think it's an option that we can look at. So are you going to give proposals and we're going to have another work session? Or what? Uh, well, what I'm going to do, uh, I, I don't, respectfully, Bill, I don't know if we need another work session. I think we send down four proposals and we sit down here at the table and we go through the proposals and uh, we like it, we go with it, we don't, we don't. We get back on the uh, list to buy a truck. David, what I also told him was to, to uh, I hear a lot of folks say that we should have her own uh, garbage truck that has the mechanical arm that does that. So I looked into that. It's three hundred and twenty-five thousand one hundred and seventy-seven dollars for the truck, one hundred ninety-two thousand and five hundred dollars for the carts that we would need in Livingston for that. For a total, five hundred twenty thousand six hundred seventy-seven dollars. So I just, I just wanted to, can somebody question you on that? Well, I think if we if we get the proposals and if you, you or Wayne look into, uh, like David said, if refurbishing is a possibility and how much it would cost, I don't think we need another work session. We can discuss that yeah, at okay. a regular meeting. Right, yeah. And, uh, but uh, I will get the proposals out. We'll let the uh, folks that want to, uh, Take a look at it, write it down in writing, and exactly, and Wayne will, and I, uh, because we know what garbage routes are run and how we run it, and what days we run it, and how we expect it to be, and so we, you know, go from there. Now, and, and one of the things that, uh, uh, a pro or con, however you want to say it, uh, if you give up the rights, now, for example, with Ken Dotson, don't put his garbage out on Tuesday like he's supposed to, then it would probably next Tuesday before you get it. Now, now we could easily call Mr. Dishman there that drives our garbage truck and says, run up Ken Dawson get his garbage and we've got to put it out. Does that happen a lot? <laughs> yes, 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 really. You can go by and they won't have their garbage out and they'll call back and say, you passed us yeah. <laughs> I, I, right. I didn't know that was even a possibility. Well, I, just, I just take it to the landfill myself when I forget. Well, it, it, it does it does happen. Okay. Yeah. Well, people will learn. <laughs> well, you'll know what day you put your garbage out, or it'll be next week. Well, yeah. uh, in other properties I've had where they have the, you know, if you're just out of luck, you forget. So yeah. do you. That's it. That's it. Okay, got it. So, if, if, is there any, any questions? Yes, go ahead, man. Do you think that will be on this coming month's agenda? If not, the reason why I say, I think we need to look at commercial. That just blows my mind. Yeah, well, I, I, what I plan on doing is getting proposals out and advertising for bid. Uh, it would be a gold mine to have it on the November agenda at the next city council meeting if I can get it done that fast. If not, we can always have a call meeting mid-November or something. I, I missed it. For how much did you say that's paying now with commercials? 
a month, twenty dollars a month or something. Isn't that what it was? Yeah. For the hundred. For a hundred. So it's paying twenty five dollars each. Right. They don't even have the fuel. No. Right. So six dollars a week. And and that and, and David I don't work. And David, what I said, if we go back to the traditional way that we've done garbage, that price will go up. There's no question about that. It will Yeah, exactly. So, uh, any other questions? Okay, we're adjourned, folks. Thank you.